Hi! If you watched any of my previous videos specifically about tracking string bed deflection or string tension, you know what these two devices are. Here I have my trusty and reliable 27 year old Babolat Racket Diagnostic Center. And here I have my ERT 700, which is about 20 years old and wasn't working until my friend Ken recently helped me fix it. However, I was always curious how the current ERT300 matched up and compared to this older 700 model. Well, I decided to get one. I'll share some initial thoughts about this device in this video. If you have an ERT300, I'd love to hear from you. In fact, I'll tell you at the end of this video how your comments can help. Well, so far in my limited number of string tension readings ranging from 38 to 54 pounds, I'm glad to announce that the ERT300 and the 700 are spot on. There are only a couple of readings that the, uh, it varied one unit in the string tension or sometimes the dynamic tension. So for example, when I got 28 on this one, this was strung at 38 pounds, but I got a DT of 28. Uh, on the 700, it came out with uh, 40 pounds. And by looking at the chart on this at 28, it's at 41 pounds. So there's the one unit difference there. All right, so let's talk about string bed deflection and dynamic tension. String bed deflection is what the player will ultimately feel. And that measurement is taken by the Babolat RDC. So when you take a measurement like this, the uh, optimum string bed deflection is determined by the proper reference tension. That's what you set your machine at. Now, this reference tension is uh, something that I've uh, developed by working with the RDC. Uh, some of it is trial and error. And over time, uh, it's just my experience of working with uh, the type of string and the string pattern and the size of the racket. Um, I'll share with you a brief guideline of what I think is the ideal uh, string bed deflection based on the type of strings. So for synthetic strings, uh, the ideal string bed deflection is somewhere between 58 to 64, and that includes multi-filaments. Uh, for natural gut, you really have a large range, I feel, and that can range from uh, the low 50s to the high 60s. When you uh, string up with a hybrid, which is a uh, polyester and a uh, synthetic, could be a natural gut also, uh, your range is gonna be somewhere between 54 and 62. And then finally, if you're stringing up with polyester strings, that's when your uh, range will be somewhere between 48 and 54. Although these numbers may not apply to you, since you probably don't have a Babolat RDC, but this is where an ERT300 can come in handy. Okay, so next, let's talk about dynamic tension. So if we take a look at the guide here, and uh, under dynamic tension, DT, it's the value of the current string bed stiffness that determines the plane characteristics of power and control. DT, the plane range, is categorized in low, mid, high, high plus, and it shows the level of speed and aggressiveness of play for your successful games. Here's a reference card that comes with the ERT300 and you'll notice on the bottom in the white it says 28 and that was the value I got from my racket when I uh, took it off of the machine. And again, my racket is 100 square inches and I strung it with a polyester setup um, at 38 pounds. So you can see uh, looking above there, my DT value between 28 and 34, it falls in the defensive from the baseline style of play. Well, I don't like to describe my game as that. In fact, I think I'm more fast and aggressive since I play mostly doubles. But this is just a general guide of what most players will probably like. But in the end, uh, it'll come down to the player's preference. Now, in the middle section in the yellow, you'll notice it has restring your racket when the DT tension loss reaches 10%, uh, maximum 20%. So having an ERT300 is a valuable tool because if you take the initial reading and then you compare it at different intervals, uh, this is a good way to show your uh, customers uh, if your racket really needs to be restrung. Then finally on the top in that white column, 
Uh, those are the values that came up when I set the dial at 28 dt. So if you can look at the uh, middle numbers, because my racket is a mid plus, uh, you'll notice that the uh, 18.5, it's a kilopons uh, unit, uh, similar to kilograms. And my tension is at 41. Until now, I've been using my ERT700 primarily for string tension readings since I have a RDC to measure string bend deflection. But now, since I have an ERT300, I'd love to learn more about DT. In fact, this is where you can help. First, if you have an ERT300, tell me what is your favorite DT. And second, mention the string setup and the reference tension that you use to get that DT. I'll compile a list with your comments and post them in the video description in about a week. Or I might create another video. Thanks for watching, happy stringing, and let your strings play.